Okay, welcome back to NASCAR for Days. I'm going to be discussing the, um, what was it, ALSCO 500, I think it was. First off, we have William Byron. I don't think you could say winning. He transferred from, finished 20th the last race, so he uh, gets transferred to first. They did a 20th to first swap for qualifying. So he wins the pole, gets to start uh, first. And then a very early wreck between Garrett Smithley and Joey Gase. They uh, make contact, heavy damage to uh, Garrett Smithley, I think it was, all along here. Fire, it's a very bad wreck. And then we have uh, Matt Kenseth, just random spin near the entry of Pit Road. I think he actually got down Pit Road. I was pretty fortunate to be able to get down Pit Road because he was right there. And then uh, Joey Logano wins stage one. I forget who he was holding off, but it's pretty impressive. And then Kyle Busch and Eric Almirola, they they made contact and I'd say uh, right here, this was peeled up after Eric Almirola hits Kyle Busch and it cuts uh, Kyle Busch's tire right down and it's, it's just the uh, what it, what is it? A, the rim of the tire. It's just the rim. All the rubber's gone. It's just the rim, and he's just able to do a full lap before he gets down pit road without spinning. That was pretty impressive, and no contact with anybody besides Eric Almirola. That was just pretty impressive. And then um, Alex Bowman wins stage two. I mean, I didn't do videos for the two last the last two races, but Alex Bowman was doing extremely well. Just didn't work out for him. Or was it, yeah, but those two races, and he does finally get another stage win. And then, uh, lap 73, Alex Bowman spins out and hits the wall. Huge blow for them. Really unfortunate. And then, uh, Denny Hamlin, he, he, he was not doing good all race. 20th. It's really strange. I don't know why, but some. But at some point in the race, he would flip a switch and he jumps 10 positions. It's really weird. And that's how he got second. And I was pretty impressed with that. Um, Joe Gibbs in general wasn't doing that well. Martin Church Jr. Uh, he, I think he maybe even made contact but with some something or someone. But he dropped to the rear pretty quickly. Eric Jones... I don't know how well he did. Christopher Bell did pretty well. For a rookie uh, from the Xfinity series, I was pretty impressed. Um, he's doing a good job here in the Cup series. And Kyle Busch, I mentioned, he cut a tire, went two laps down. And he just, I don't think he was able to recover from that. Um, but a big day for some of the rookies. Uh, John Hunter Nemechek. Christopher Bell, like I said, Tyler Reddick, maybe not rookies, but some underfunded teams, including Michael McDowell, I think, was up there. Uh, yeah, John Hunter, I said John Hunter, Hunter Nemechek. Um, there's one other one, Cole Custer, I'm pretty, sh pretty sure he did well till he, mm, I think, made some contact uh, with someone else. That was unfortunate. But, um... Kevin Harvick, that huge surprise, Kevin Harvick's leading, it, it's incredible. Then all of a sudden, 30 laps to go, he just starts dropping like a rock. Chase Elliott passes him, that's probably why Chase Elliott won, because he was able to take the lead like that. And then Ryan Blaney passes him, oh yes, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., that's the one I was missing, he did well, but he pa he was actually fourth at the time, Denny Hamlin eventually passed him, but... But hats off. Kurt Busch did pretty well. I was kind of impressed. I didn't know if that was his kind of track. But uh, now, now let's take a look here. They're doing well in points now because of that race. Chase Elliott able to get some good points. That's not pulling up, but wait here. Hmm. I don't know, but Chase Elliott did pretty well. Overall, Hendrick did pretty well. Chase Elliott won. Alex Bowman 
looked like he could win. And then William Byron, pretty sure he wrecked. But he he was in the pole position. He he had something happen. Matty D, hats off. He did really good. But I mean, he I was impressed with his work behind the wheel. Um, and first rate, first video I've done for a race during coronavirus. No fans, so you gotta admit it. It's kind of I'm sure it's boring for those drivers to do burnouts. No one's there to watch, but um, um, this is Cole, NASCAR for Days. I'm going to be signing out.